Hello everybody! Hello! Welcome in to the Purple Penguin Craft Room. I'm Vicki. Uh, today's craft is going to be kind of an outdoors in. Uh, if you watch any of my other videos, you know I definitely like to use stuff from the outside because, you know, it's free <laughs> and it's I love bringing nature inside. So just to jump right in, this is what we're going to be creating today. How cute is that? Uh, it's made from sticks. I've got actual pine cones that I've collected. Um, this is from Hobby Lobby, but a complete supply list will be at the end of the video. Um, we're going to jump right in and get started. Please like, share, subscribe, drop me, you know, uh, a message and say hi and um, let me know what you think and if you would do the same thing. All right, you guys, let's get started. We're going to start with our base. Um, this I got uh, gathered together, obviously, um, is from uh, the fall time uh, from um, Dollar Tree. Um, I, I did like, I like the frame. I do like the fact that this pops out. Uh, it's got its own hanger, so it just makes it easier to, to decorate. Um, and actually, you know, I don't mind this gray, and it's got a wood texture look to it already. We're actually going to leave that. We're actually going to leave that. Normally, I probably wouldn't, um, but I don't mind it. I really don't. Um, this part, we're going to, obviously, we're going to change out. It's got this little cardboard thing on top of it, which we're just going to rip off. That can't really be salvaged. Um, but we want to get all of this off. Comes off. Very easy, actually. Sometimes they don't use the best of glue. Actually, they have been getting better on some of their projects. Uh, some of the glue is actually getting better. Holding together a little bit better. Um, but not this one. That came off very easy. Last little bit. The struggle is real, people. The struggle is real. Okay. So we could use either side. This is actually paper. Um, but it's fine. Um, if I tear it, it's not going to all come off. Uh, we're just going to leave it and we're going to paint on top of it. Um, so we're going to do a crackle effect on this one. Um, I want red as my base um, for to show in my crackle. So we're going to use our good old cardinal red. I use a lot of this color for uh, Valentine's Day, for sure. You watch my other videos, I definitely use a lot of this cardinal red. It is my favorite red to use. And um, normally I wouldn't worry about the, the fact that it's not a complete cover. Um, but you know what? I, I do want the red to really pop in this project. So I am going to do two coats. All right. So the, the red is all done. I kind of popped a bubble in the white. It's fine. We're just going to leave it. Um, you know, this is this is real life crafting. This is how it works. But then I noticed when I was um, drawing this, it's in the paper <laughs> started to peel up, which just you know, real life. I'm gonna pull it off. Oh, so real life crafting. The paper came up. Um, I. You know, wasn't sure if it was going to or not. It did. So now we're going to repaint our board again with that cardinal red. <laughs> it is probably going to have the fact that these little tears in it, but uh, I'm thinking with the crackle effect on it, um, it will kind of hide that. So no big deal. So after real life happened, um, you actually can't see the tears in it that bad. 
Um, so it's, it's not that bad. And, you know, uh, hindsight, I did, only had to do one coat instead of two, like, you know, I was doing with the top. So it's okay. Uh, it all works out in the end. <laughs> We're going to start our crackle effect now. We're going to use our clear Elmer's glue. Super easy, super simple. Uh, just get a big brush. We're going to load our brush. Now, don't put it on too heavy, don't put it on too thick, and always go in one direction that you want your crackle to, uh, to go in. So if you want your crackle to go sideways, you go sideways. If you want your crackle to go up and down, you go up and down. Don't go swirly. <laughs> it kind of messes with your crackle. Try not to go too heavy on it, but you want a good coat on it. streaks in your glue will try and help the crackle as far as which direction it needs to go. take our off-white color, that light buttermilk. While it's still wet, we want to do this while it's still wet here. Um, oh, I had a bigger brush. Apparently not. Um, we're just going to make it work. Now you want to go same direction and you just want to Coat and pick up. Coat and pick up. Don't overwork your paint. Now that we've got the white all the way on there, you can see, since I started at this end, it's already starting to crackle. It's already starting. So we'll let that dry for at least a couple hours, um, and then we'll come back and we'll put all of our stuff on it. Okay, so how about that crackle? That looks absolutely beautiful, and you can still kind of see the crack through the crackle is the red. It is the red. You can see it. You can see it more in real life um, than, than this. Um, let's go ahead. We're going to put back in the frame now. Right. 
And the only reason I want it back in the frame now is it'll be easier to put the, the stuff on it. All right. This okay, so we need to remember this is my top. So now um, we're going to put sticks to spell I love you. We're going to use this wreath from Hobby Lobby. And that's going to be our O. And then this big stick here, we want to do for our L. I'm just going to take my wire cutters. You can use, you know, whatever you got. These actually may or may not work. Oh, okay, I think that works. We're going to lay these out before we glue them down just to make sure we've got a good uh, setup here. Now we need an E. Thinking about this little piece right here can be now I have I have two big maple trees in my yard and so that's where I get a lot of my branches that fall from the wind storms and and whatnot um, but you know you can go out on a nature walk you know go out in a park um, collect some smaller branches you know wh wherever you want to go get out of the house for a little bit bring some nature back with you it's always fun This branch is a little bit thicker than <laughs> I'm used to cutting with these wire cutters here. I got the big guns here. These are uh, some pruners. I like it. Or though we're gonna move, move put everything over just a little bit here. He's a little bit crowded. Alright, absolutely perfect. Like that. Oh, roll down on me here. I like how that looks. All right, so let's go ahead and glue it in. We're going to just use our tacky glue. And you could totally just use hot glue on this too if you want to use hot glue. I just don't use hot glue very much. There are some points where I do.
definitely helps out when you lay everything in there. I also got, this is uh, from Hobby Lobby. It's a little felt heart. They already come pre-done like this, which is kind of nice. And we're just going to stick that right in the middle. I absolutely love these. Like I said, it's, it's a felt heart, but it is a little bit on the thicker side. I'll just add some more texture for the project. I also have these little pine cones that I collected out on a trip. And I'm thinking, just randomly, just going to randomly put some little extra little pine cones. a little something extra and then we could also put I don't know how it's gonna look a little twine ribbon just your simple basic little twine ribbon here go just a little something extra I absolutely love how this looks and if you you know if I don't like the way this I, I mean I don't mind this blue gray on the outside here um, but we could definitely paint this too uh, to make it like a brown as well all right you guys keep on coming back and watching some more crafts happy crafting <laughs>